They were three friends taking in the great outdoors at a popular tourist spot. Then disaster. The woman in the group jumped into what looked like a safe pool of water, but was swept away by a whirlpool. Then her two friends jumped in to rescue her, and they also lost their lives. Jim Murray spoke with one of the devastated families. Tragedy at this spectacular natural wonder. Three friends drowned after being caught in a powerful whirlpool in a popular hiking trail known as Seven Teacups in Central California. Janine Skinner was caught in the vortex of spinning water. Her companions, David Bell and Peter Ahn, drowned trying to rescue her. These were three strong individuals. David was incredibly strong. We spoke to David's grieving family today. It sounds like a, an act of heroism. It was, yeah, and we've gotten so many messages that have said things like, no surprise, of course he jumped in. Yep. No way we would leave her in there. Small whirlpools can form in a bath or sink, but in nature, as seen in social media videos, they can be incredibly powerful and suck people into the abyss. The surface of the water was still. It was calm. It was calm. It was underneath. Nature's wrath also struck in Arizona as deadly flash floods swept through the Grand Canyon. Wow! Look at the sheer power of the muddy torrent. Many tourists had to be rescued by chopper. This is how it looked from the rescue basket. We know when to run. And it's time to run. These campers had to flee for their lives. They joined other trapped tourists waiting to be evacuated. See, that's the line of people waiting to get on the little helicopter. They take us five at a time. There's over 200 tourists waiting to get evacuated. I think I'm 80 on the list. Within 45 minutes, the river went from blue to raging water. Latricia Mim shot the amazing video. The Fishbeck family was also camping and got caught unaware by the flood. The current was pretty high up. Uh, it was about to my chest, so I was holding onto the tree and I could see my mom and just praying that they were okay. How long were you all clinging for dear life? I guesstimated between probably around 40 to 45 minutes. 